Alright, in this new episode of Tezilovich, at least the Celtic Moor Authority has gone back up, as the antipope was recently exposed. The Teutonic state of Finland and Sweden are still around, but they're currently fighting an excommunication. Uh, it's the Holy Roman Emperor who is excommunicated. Sue me. Yes, the Finns have returned, and they're Catholic too, because... That's where the Catholic county was. It happened during the Great Holy War of Versvithia, in which we intervened on the behalf of the Teutonic State, and we saved them. And in turn, um, the Finnish people liberated themselves, led by King Elke the Liberator. Only has one daughter so far, since they run on agnetic seniority. So I'm sure they have plenty of time to have more children. And I look to have an alliance with Sumi. Because since the Pope is busy with uh, one of those wars that they're defending against the um, Wessex. Yeah, um, and then. Uh, so we thought we would use them. Use Sumi as an ally. Because we plan on taking Poland. Poland had recently fell to the uh, to the German Ajax, the of Switzerland in particular. They call him the Magnificent. It was Valhalla bound, impaler, cruel, craven, and a genius. So what we have up, what we're up against is an evil genius. Yes, a Norseman who is an evil genius. Born under the star sign of Gemini. And he's fat. And he has a cat. He's a renowned duelist, which he's won many, many duels. He even killed one of them. Two Pomerania children died in the dungeon after capturing this area. Which, you know... That kind of angers me, <laughs> honestly. Although he's an old man, but still. We need to... Since the Pope is busy, that means we can't request a crusade for Poland. So I take it upon myself, and and by luck, they gave me the option to have a religious liberation. My original plan was Bulgaria or even Lithuania. No, Poland's more important. It's more land. Which, again... um. When we win, uh, we get the piety and prestige, and the kingdom of Poland will be liberated under a new ruler of the Catholic religion, and this ruler will become my tributary, thus maintaining the character of the Bosnian Empire as being a tribute empire. But mind you, it's the king of Pomerania um, that holds that title of Poland. Much like for Schoenberg, Bavaria, let us create new Poland. An undivided Poland, even though de jure, yes it is, but saying united, but under Bosnian protection. So let's liberate our Catholic and Slavic brethren. And we say Slavic, I mean by culture, not by religion. So this is technically going to be our own crusade for Poland. Let's do it. Looking for a good place to um, to rally up at because there's just a lot of Pressburg. Okay, Pressburg it is. And everyone up there. Although winter will be coming soon. Let's now must move forward and fast. Because this might be a massive war, because uh, they say nearby Germanic rulers will have to join the war. Norway's likely going to join. 
this man also had a reputation. He's a mutilator. And ironically enough, he has been mutilated himself and he has an infection. He will soon die. I hope beating up Switzerland would be enough for whatever rebellion they have ongoing over there. And whenever the Teutonics are done with the HRE, then they can start another one of those Nordic Crusades, in which I still hope for Sumi. They didn't do it last time, because, you know, they're neighbors. I thought they would be more willing to help out the Teutonics. It's like, yes, they're in Finland, but this is a your part of, of Sumi, so they shouldn't worry about that. And I'm sure they'll probably expand up to Lapland as well, if they wanted it to. Lions shall be formed. And that will be a useful ally. Much like this guy here, who I just about. He was from the Ragnian Guard, so I thought, hey, let's use him for this service. Interestingly enough, a Norseman. Norse Orthodox. Again, from the Ragnian Guard. Just as I suspected, Norway would join. With this, about 23,000 of theirs, and 21,000 of them. Okay, as soon as we have that alliance form, you must join. And let me give you some money to get out of your financial debt. Because, you know, the Empire of Bosnia is like a bank. I'm going to give you all this money till we go under 10,000. So you can hire some mercenaries. Or whatever you need to build your buildings in your domain. There we go. That'll keep you covered. Ah, one more for good measure. And if, and if we win this war, I'll remind myself to craft you a sword. Or an axe, just for you. But judging that your kingdom, well, it'll be tier two, so. Actually, I recall, Warrior Gathering Ground, they have the heavy infantry stuff. Yeah, okay, remind me to craft you a tier two axe. Once this whole thing is over. Now, come on in. This is going to be a massive war, once again. We can no longer rely on Sardinia and Corsica because it's a tributary state to Sicily and uh, we own parts of it, which one would think one day we should vassalize this whole area. So what we do now is just try to save um, the Polish people from submission. She's become Polish. I see. You know, it's always like, let's try to get the armies together. But then let the retinue um, attack. And trade is flourishing in our capital. Winter is mild. And also, I've decided to antagonize this chief, who is a commander of Sithfield, and he's their best. Yes. Now, Hollabound, heavy infantry leader, he's a, he's a great threat. 
for which I hope I would try to antagonize him enough to get him to do me. Maybe after that. As you were. Jom's Vikings are out there too, and Ladoga. Check out those guys. They're more dangerous. Wait for the movement to be locked in. Three days. Three, two, one. Go. Still trying to get everyone here. On this way. I'm sure some of you are probably already thinking, look what you got yourself into. Look at how many you're facing. No worries, Sumi is coming down. Yeah, coming down from there. As I said, this is the best ally we can afford. We can't get France because it would be a frequent target from the British Empire. Ragusa is not a good choice because, uh, for obvious reasons. Sardinia Corsica can no longer be uh, re relied on. Sicily? Ooh, I don't know. It's an interesting choice. But um, I don't know what it's a frequent target of, but... I don't think it hurts. But what does hurt me is, well, Philistia. Philistia. It's Greek now. It's led by a Tesalovich, but a Greek. Tesalovich. Shall I go over there? And I don't think I have any. Oh, yes, I do. Plenty. Non aggression fact. Sicily. I guess we could call Sicily back in this war, knowing that how many of them are out there. There's going to be a lot more. Soon we gotta get the rest new out of there. Now it's through the political concerns. Well, we have our non aggression type Pablo at the moment. Come on in. We'll be marching soon. My pastor calls it. As I said before, I think this religious liberation of uh, Poland is going to be our own crusade. It's just I hope we can handle it. And you can't call the Teutonic Order down here. That's Finland. Sue me. To be more specific. Haven't seen Swedish army out there. But then again, they have their own problems right now. Which they could soon um, resolve. My close chaplain and brother. Try to get Novgorod to be Catholic again. But 
Jared and Marshall. And a heretic. Yeah, that'll make get disqualified. Anyways. Yeah, we'll take it on the big Norwegian army. By the way, did you pick up any laser traits yet? Well, she has. I know you have. This is Plains territory, so it's your alley. Start to making advances now. We'll go here and the others will go to Krakow. Which barely has enough supply limits, despite the fact that there's it's a crime-ridden place. That's unfortunate, as I said. Crime-ridden. Since there's a lot of you guys over there, so siege this uh, county. We'll have a south, you have the, the northeast. Oh, you safely arrived. Where's the luck, brother? They kicked you out already? That didn't work. Well, go back to your original, did he? Next one. Ah, a eunuch. And one legged. That's unfortunate. You know, withdraw, go down to the capital and deal with those guys. We'll take it from here. Who can I bring with me? Free boy here, obviously. And, uh... Oh, we have two siege leaders. I recall there's this guy I brought in. I don't allow kings or dukes to be run. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bring out the Norseman. Dan. Dan the Varagnian. We'll defeat those guys. Well, you do the sieging. You'll be fine. Alright, my first battle of this war. My first, personally. Oh, well, this passes through. What the hell, free boy? You decided to go into business for yourself. Sell out. Wind windy weather is getting to me again. Turn to the sky, take a deep breath. The haphazard soldiers of King um, Einar. I've been sending the best at me, and my limbs becoming heavy with each step I take. It's happened to me again. Well, let me face this guy. Craven Cavalry Leader. Today's a good day to die. We only see the Norwegians out there, but no, uh, no 
Swedish. Yeah, you better run. I guess we'll have to bring Helena. She's currently suffering from the flu, but she'll do. Hope Norway's having problems of their own. No. Yeah, it's only a matter of time before they send their best at me. As a matter of fact, where are they now? The real question is, where's their best? Oh dear. Don't help me. Don't help me. Oh my goodness. Have a bug, have a bug. That's Havelberg, where's Lubos? Oh, these sound again. Going over there. I don't know if that's a good idea, but just try to get a little closer to our friendly armies <laughs> unless they're gonna go after the, the Finns sure it's <laughs> a so hair looked man but be out of sight doesn't stop him from doing the good work of the Lord The old is dead. Can't send another one right now. Do it again on them. for the moving to be locked. There. Got you where you want. Save the pins. Damn, that means we'll, okay, we'll have to get through the small force in order to meet them. Finish the battle. Ball suit. And the king is there. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. Of all the places they chose, they chose there. Because they're neighbors. Um, help! That's uh, all I ask from Europe. I'm sure the papacy will be there. Those things will not help because it's... Because this is against a Catholic, not an Orthodox. Oh boy. We gotta finish this war up there. Bosnian filthy... Work go. May you be sewn up alive in the belly of a dead camel. Abdul Gaf. What's your name? There's a skull trophy. Oh, well, it's a long ago. It passed hands a lot of times. Well, we can get Finland to help us on this war as well. But first, uh, we gotta get up there fast to save them. Matter of fact, our retinue is kinda like... Oh, 
shit, it's down there in of Croatia. Yep, it's on going right now. Save the Finnish king. Yeah, get the organizer. Get those troops moving faster. Just for now, send your best. You're just gonna have to hump it up. Good idea, just join. And what do you know? This is the day I get married to this quick thinking woman who is just as uncouth as me. We don't care how we dress well. I think it's a little too much. It's fine that I realize. Decisive battle nonetheless. But we shouldn't be up here. You go this way. Go. Damn it. We're gonna take this one. And the Benza, you can be between. Between the two. We'll worry about the Jihad later. Ragusa wishes to join us. Any help is appreciated. Just for future weapons. Schoenberg Bavaria will join. Alright. So does Sumi. Prince Bishop. That's not right. Surprised she wasn't born of syphilis. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, that'll tell the Finns to move this area and, and support these guys. Andalusia will join. Okay, fine. Just do things your way. Just siege that area then. We'll be taking Poland soon enough. Salt that right now. Why then? We'll reinforce on our way down. 
when we march uh, south. We'll be fine. Rachel J. There, it's over. Poland is back. This is uh, King Hamelin of Obernicke, Poland. If only had you assassinated right now, so it'll be uh, Poland for the Poles. We'll take care of these guys as we now will march. Holy sh... They're there already. Okay, okay, here's the uh, game plan here. Just, just start from there. And, uh, so we can... Uh, again, in this war, they may have a couple of their allies with them. Well, we have friends of our own. And it's too bad others like Jerusalem won't be able to join us. Due to a different faith. Made worse by that disease down there. Sanko, my brother. Give them another chance. Yeah, they've already landed on our son of country shores. It's too bad the visitings are no hope. They're not going to declare war to try to liberate some of their land back. Favacy is too busy with those petty wars against the HRE because that guy's ex. Where's his capital? Oh, they're over there. Oh, the hell are they over there? Pierre Pegleg. Pegleg Pierre. <laughs> yeah, he's excommunicated as well. <laughs> Pegleg Pierre. Yep, it's another world war of sorts. Hey, since he's a suzerain... Oh, excuse me, I'm the suzerain. Since he's a tributary state, I think it's only a matter of time before Poland will call for help, too. Okay, he's in Novgorod right now. Godspeed. And if it gets really hairy down there, you may want to hire some mercenaries. And do not forget, Preboya Teslovich, the man who sold out the Empire. He's preparing an invasion to take Bosnia. So he has a plan. Alright, now get down there. Actually, go to this direction. I'll go straight to Verbosna. Never thought I would fight a defense war that's going to be right on my own land. I mean, yes, it's been touched by raiders before, but never like this. Never. Well, Finland is going to go off on its own, as it's going to be heading this way to, along with the other allies, so you, you can do that. And if we need someone with backup, 
Okay, Poland decided to help out Burgundy. Which they took Burgundy! That part of it! Bastards. Bastards. Every time they lose one, they gain one. That's why we need to seriously consider a crusade up there. Nordic Crusade is effective, yes. We can do more. How much strength is Vaguza? What would be a good backup? I guess maybe them. I mean, they're right over there, so... I'd do this one. Are still fresh off from the onshore landings. The majority of the troops are just down south. <laughs> right, we'll work on it. there, so we'll start fighting against these guys, which are seemingly in numerous in number. Teutonic War for Ostergotland. Well, we beat the heck out of these guys, and you've got pretty good numbers. Have fun! It's too bad Finland Sumi won't be able to back you up. But, uh, we got our own problems down. In mainland Europe. This is the worst place to be fighting in. Now there's numerous men there, but there's a bit of disease too. Gotta choose the battles. What? Stop moving. Wait for the retinue. Need the cavalry. Just let them have their moment. Make you ambitious for once. Because I see you becoming a warrior in the future, you need to serve in the front lines, I can imagine that. Uh, you know what, I think Ragoza should back up this army. We'll be fine or alone with this one. Get moving. I fear the uh, decisive battle may come at this one. We'll go alongside. Romania offers to join. You got it. As we said. Any help is appreciated. Count the back. Okay. Anyone, just anyone, regardless of your background. Guess you've returned and they probably not converted again. Fortunately. I 
bent low over my correspondence, struggling to stay focused and keep my eyes open. When my wife and press down to enter, she crosses the room and inspects the correspondence over my shoulder. Perhaps a fresh pair of eyes might prove helpful, dear husband. Hmm. How much, dear? Perhaps you're right. Because, you know, it's pretty hectic out here. More retinue, so keep an eyes on it. I think we may have to send them over here now. My wife has received an education in diplomacy, like myself, so she quickly grasps the nuisances of the problem. As I explain it, the two are set to work, discussing while comparing diplomats. Danuta is the most competent diplomat. Within the hour, I've laid the groundwork for a promising solution. Let us retire in a bedchamber, my dear, and fall in love with her. Goodness, look at him! Losing our ground. Oh, just barely. God damn this disease. Supply limit in the winter. Makes me frustrated about this. At least you'll have your backup in Ragusa uh, for your guys. All together now. There, you got your number. We'll do a pencil movement against them. That's the most numerous they have over there. And they're gonna retreat on that little island. Nowhere to go. With that many out here. Some are right there now. If it goes up behind you. We got no choice. We got to take them all out, even if it's going to bring some of them over, over here. There's no better place to do it but there. And this is going to be a clincher. Romania, back us up to. Where are you exactly? Oh, next to Navarre. I see. Where's Finland? Oh, you're over there with them. Most of the army's Finnish. Where's the Andalusians? Oh, okay. This has to be the decisive battle right here. We got about 12,000 plus more going up to Imperials. There's more from the island of Coast. Uh, okay. Just hold your ground! Biggest battle I've ever seen in terms of manpower involved here. Late to the battle is always Victor. Because that's the biggest battle we've ever took part of.
And there's no room for all of our armies here. There's no other occupied place. So get down there. Crap, more? Oh, don't worry, this is home territory, we'll still be reinforced. And of course we gotta go deal with my uncle. My damn uncle. Uh, Poland is joined. Alright. Guess you've done whatever that little problem you were doing. And the Grandmaster is winning again. Do you still have your stage, stage all your round? There goes Romania. Duchy of Sardinia. Oh boy, that gives him a de jour right to do so. So we on Bianna in the capital. They've landed again. Not a good move on their part. Once again, more are joining in. More shape to the slaughter. Okay, here's what we're going to do. After you take this holding, switch places. Move up, and we'll move up. Trade places. It's a good one. Yep, they've lost so much men and they're calling for more. Keep it up. Take on all of you. You know, put me on this army. Done. Aggressive leader. Nice one. I just want the very best with me. Retinue can go too. Now you take over there and let the Serbian siege leader deal with the rest. And if it gets hairy out, then you have to go up too. her on choke points. Uh, battlefield terrain master for her. More and more vassals of, of that empire are joining. And they keep going. As I said, everybody's involved. Whenever 
whenever you're done with the Nordic Crusade, I doubt he'll probably ask to join as well. They got their movement locked. Let's deal with them. That's the retinue we're sending, not the whole army. Ah, oh, free boy. Son of a beeswax. And where are you now? Well, of course, he's not anywhere near here, but it's only a matter of time before we found out where he's at. He sold his country out. I gotta say, once I have him beat, then Lord knows what I'm gonna do to him. Oh, he's my uncle. These are the commanders, but there's no unknown location. Keep the secrets, eh? Come back to this army and you may want to get together and uh, we're going to deal with those guys. They're going to be landing on Zahumia. I could tell you that already. Withdrawal. Whatever infidel may come to our land, we'll deal with them too. Remember that symbol. The Grand Master of the Knights of Santiago offers service. You may not have much, but you'll do. Again, any help is appreciated. It's almost World War-like now, with the amount of people involved. But yet it's only been a year and ten months. Soon to be two years. Again, don't expect much happening. We don't know where that uncle is, but we're gonna get him. Brother. I know he was incapable, but he had a bedridden cancer, and now he's gone. Free Boya is my heir, and he wants it now. Well, we're gonna give it to him, alright. And if he's gone, then it's my other uncle. Maybe I should start swaying my wife. I gotta get her to like me more. So we can... Well, you know. Yeah, you keep doing those um, amphibious assaults and see what happens. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. Where are you? First time back. They should be visible in a moment. Aha! There they are. Prince Bishop did it again. So they're coming in two waves. Maybe after that area. Well, let's meet them. Okay, we fully liberate this area. We'll move on. Wait a moment. Now move on. Just along the shore a bit. Oh boy. Oh, okay, they decide to go on the front most parts of the Bosnian Empire. Smart of them. They really want to draw me out. Oh. 
Stop here. Yeah, I don't know that guy much, so here we go. Metro linear for the okay. Movement to be locked. And then eventually we're gonna go meet Prince Preboya. If I get killed, then he's gonna get his wish. Yeah, we used to have a pretty big army. How old are you? Jeez, it feels like you've been here in, in almost an eternity. An eternity and a half, I might add. Oh, another trained troops. It's a reinforcement rate. If you increase reinforcement rate, then that reinforces all the armies in the Empire faster. We're gonna get you. We're gonna get you. Uh, continue on the march. Stand in his way. Yep, he's coming down this way. Killer woman was arrived in my court in only a matter of months. She made a name of herself as a most accomplished warrior. I told you men and women served the Bosnian army. Um, not just female commanders, but female soldiers. Um, I've seen her defeat some of my best champions in a sparring ring. Uh, maybe I could teach my other soldiers a thing or two. Let me see. So, she's a Bosnian from Italy. Duelist and inspiring leader. Whoa, brave too. Could make her become a marshal, but no, I see her as being friendly. Come here, so yeah, Vita Chuck can come in, but not as the marshal. A Dalmatian should be the marshal while we uh, we can bring her here. That's a hell of a move. Wild battle continue. I thought it was battle related event, but these right. dear Muslims fight hard. All right, here comes Uncle. I'm sure, he's coming to Donia Cry. We're gonna uh, lure him over here, then. Amar. Amar the God bearing. Duke of Francesco met. Walk up to his hands and feet, bleeding profusely, only for it to miraculously heal a couple of minutes later. Such a life so closely upon the footsteps of God. He died of scurvy. Okay. <laughs> but nonetheless, he's the founder of his own bloodline. He's a truly an inspiration to us all, and let's hope we'll inspire some more in the upcoming battle. Sardinia and Corsica, old friend. Welcome. They're back, aren't they? Not in great numbers, but... Movement is locked. So let's meet them. The 
cook has prepared a fine meal, what the priests teach about temperance. I'll satisfy my hunger with bread and water. And I'll satisfy my hunger by kicking my uncle's ass! We'll only be fighting against Preboya, not the Muslims. The Muslims are already retreating. He's going to get the mountains. Oh, he has all the combined armies. He's putting all his classes. These are all Bosnian. Uh, that's an entire Bosnian army structure. You may want to move in soon. Just wait a moment. France. That's going to be big. It is truly a world war. and we shouldn't kill each other like that. Again, this is an issue between me and my uncle. So I'll just walk away victorious. And I'm sorry that you lost a hand for this. Count to my sin. Family matter. Somehow we went from attackers to defenders. I guess that's their other reinforcements, I think. No, they're still on them. What happened to the old clay? Killed by Gunnar. An horseman who has nothing to do with the, uh, with the Shia Jihad. This way. Yeah, that'll teach him a lesson. Prince Pre Boy's host is probably gonna go back to their places. You probably may want to get down there, it's only a matter of time before they're all regroup. Oh my god, there's those other guys. Count of Augsburg. The more sheikhs and emirs join, then the more counts and dukes will join us. Fifty-four. Yeah, you may want to hurry up. They're going to get bigger in number sooner or later. Sending my Serbian king out there. Pretty risky. Yeah, Baron and Finnish troops will be fighting in Zahumia against uh, the Fedayin. Two only. Let's go kick my uncle's ass one more time and then we're gonna get back to a local friar has petitioned to donate my family relic to the church. After all, it says it isn't right that one man should hold what belongs to all Christians. The finger of St. John? Just a finger. Not like the, uh... Oh yeah, I lost the nail of the true cross. We still have the weeping statue. I know. Holy Christos. 
Okay. Uh. I'll remain humble. I'll donate it discreetly. We can get that finger back. Or Saint's finger bone if you're in a monastic society. There's the battle. It's that Voltail Sids. Just hold them off. Huh. Let me go get him. Keep him busy. He's mine. <laughs> Mother of all is dead. Don't give a damn. Movement sock. Hold your ground. Maybe a frail emperor, but oh, riding over the plains, I see a group of haphazard soldiers coming from my unit. Weapons raised. When they're finished with us, all my men are dead. I sink to my knees in dirt, wondering why I'm still here. I'm gonna be going up against a Bosnian monk of a commander. Yeah, looking for my uncle. Not here to kill you, Bosnian brother. The only time I would kill a Bosnian if he was my rival. He's occupied some of these areas. How many have left? Gonna be pouring in. This is gonna get serious now. Horse archers must have hired mercenaries. Yeah, don't go up to the Alps. It's too cold out now. Pregnancy has caused my wife to develop an unusual taste, so uh, keep it up. Um, most of what she asks for dinner nowadays ranges from mildly unsettling to positively revolting. Still, scholars do agree that a pregnant woman's grief should also always be accommodated. I'll make sure what she wants and, and more. She's neither gluttonous nor fat. It's just she needs to eat a lot. Finland, France, and Bern will be assisting us. Glad to see some unity around here. Are they really going to attack us head on? How do I get you first? Coming after you. Battle's going on. Well, they'll take care of it. We got a family matter to attend to. Now we're the defenders. You're the attackers. down there. Ninety two war score. We lost the Norseman. It was Mihail uh, uh, 
and Lee Hollow got killed by Dan. So they killed each other. Okay, what day is that? December 14th? And you? December 13th. Ah, one would think, okay, he's dead. And then a day later, died from his wounds. Uh, matter of fact, he's been both severely injured because I cut off his hand and wounded by the Norseman and then died. Just use your imagination, people. Now, get back down there. Cold out. We'll be liberating our holdings soon. I'll go in a mirror rate. <laughs> I mean, seeing that old flag again, it kind of startled me. I'm like, oh my god, they're back. No, the Zagoin dynasty is still there. Still on. I may want to pull back. Because there's a lot of them now. Finished taking that holding. Now we gotta go down and help these guys. Say that. Oh, you are going to prison. I'm gonna, for now, I'm gonna put you to. Well, you're still in your prime. But at least I didn't kill you. Thinking about recruiting you back in the army. <laughs> As you were. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back, free boy. Tell you what, he's going to be leading this army again. Yeah, never thought that this would happen. And this, uh, New Bosnian duelist woman, Vita Cha, and be with her. But if you see any big defensive battles coming your way, we'll give you a defensive leader. For God's sakes, get away from me. We're winning so far. Keep carving them up. Uh oh. They're preparing to invade Sumi. They kind of want that land back. Once again, they keep getting bankrupt themselves. Don't you know how expensive wars are? Eric, how much do you make? I don't know where'd you lose all that money. Now there's the Kingdom of Estonia. Need some new innovation these days. Should be a master of strategy. Look at how many of them are there. Ostoya. He's left handed. You keep the name. Of course, I got money for that. The Pope is fit to baptize him. Why aren't you in that war? This concerns you too. Guess it's my other uncle. If only if it was pre boye Matter of fact, no hard feelings, right? Yeah, we defeated you. 
As I said, no hard feelings. <laughs> ah, how things get over pretty fast. So we'll let them have their fun. We just gotta get the rest of the forces over here. Oh, I'm sure I can calm her down. Really love my wife. Should we really move in? Because I was about to say, oh hell, I guess it's time. The big battle. Holy shnikes, they've lost their holdings. The Sultanate of Africa just became independent. The Empire's lost, but they're still in the war. This changes uh, the political landscape of North Africa. Oh, hell it is, but I don't think we should really move because they're going to have the mountains. And even if we move in with all these troops and reinforce have not yet arrived, no, don't risk it. Don't get greedy. Screaming arrows. I received a report on the outcome of the military experience that my marshal asked me to sponsor. Apparently a new kind of self-propelled arrow was tried out based on the Far Eastern models. Lit by fire, these arrows would scream and fly away, leaving a trail of smoke and then explode on impact, killing several of the livestock used as target practices. Um, oh, dubious accuracy and prone to failure in the rainy weather, these experiments still provided some valuable lessons. Excellent. See, look at that. Even if we intervened, I don't think it would have mattered. Numbers still too big. Where's the organizer? Damn it, get them moving. Thought they were coming for a moment, but no, that's white flag. You know what? Intercept them. Let's go. There's already too many of them out now. This is going to attract some tr attention. Oh, yeah, definitely. Cut them off at the pass. That's what we're going to do. If that's even a good idea. I mean, all the entire coalition is there. I'm to try to cut them off. Two major simultaneous battles. The rescue is there first, which isn't smart, but here we come, along with Bavaria, Ragusa, and Augsburg. <laughs> My man cornered uh, Sami. They killed Vertigo, too. They killed each other. No, 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 no. Vertical wasn't killed. He killed him. Sami. Killed by Vertigo. Who I had sent him out too early. Because he's organizer. Somehow he's still creating, but you had your moment of bravery. So good. Good job. We won that one. We'll handle it. The allies can move in too. To bolster the memory. Who's the biggest force around here? Is France with us? No. Uh. 
Tell Ragusa to get over there. Nobles distinguished himself. Just some soldier. Switch places. That's in Serbia. Serbia can take care of that problem. Going to that little island. Oh my goodness. One morning I'm shouting orders surrounded by the clanging of swords um, and fighting around me. And the next everything goes dark as the world slips away from me. Those people, concerned faces, everything hurts. I just want to rest. The fight will have to go on without me. I'm not dead. What happened? I just had a moment of, uh... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I thought I died. My goodness. Stealing Christmas. We beat the hell out of their army, but, um, can't win this war till we have all of our holdings here controlled. It's just in Castoria. I told Ragusa to be over there, and they're doing well. Don't tell me you got caught in the sort of trouble. Guess we'll have to help out Serbia. Seventy-seven percent war score. Ragusa needs to take at least one of those holdings. Which will be fine. And if they get into trouble, then uh, we'll help out. Where have you been in all my life, Holiness? You know, we never had a crusade officially. The leader of the uprising. There you are. Just as I make his eyes bleed, possibly blinding him, Sarapion um, manages to swing his spear in a perfect half circle, causing me to fall backwards, surprised up. Then he stumbles down into the snow. I turn to the rainy skies above me, sending a prayer thanks to God. Well, it is winter up in the mountains of Onagos. So, uh... I won, but I've been wounded. Got a swollen ankle. Well, he's been severely injured. I've been wounded in action for the first time. But it's not gonna stop me. Yeah, for a moment I thought I died in Kolkata. Korkira. How do you pronounce that Greek island's name? Yeah, as I said, for a moment I thought I died over there. Oh, what the hell's going on? What did you do to piss the peasants off? Unrest. 
Well, you did something, and I am not amused by it. I told Raguza to take that area, so we're going to do him a favor. It's just a slight wound. The King of Burgundy. Heir to the Kingdom of Sardinia and Corsica as well. Michael, the Dalmatian of the Ragusa Peasant Revolt, Vertigo got him too. That's the other Vertigo. That's right, there's two Vertigos in this war. Just like the two Ajaxes in the Trojan War. Well, you are going to be married to this Finnish, well, you're betrothed. Not qualified to be a commander with that kind of martial skill. He's going to be honest about it. Huh. This sheik just joined, but he can't raise troops because Raguz is currently at siege with them. Currently sieging them. What do you mean, at? Using words? How long has it been and how many are there? It's been four years and four months and basically the entire empire that everyone who is Shia and all the European powers excluding uh, the HRE and the Teutonic Order. But soon Finland's going to have problems with their own. But you're going to be forced to withdraw home. What have you been spending on? Again, I'll continue to give uh, Sumi financial aid. If they wish to hire some mercenaries or something, since there's going to be an invasion up there. Which, too bad I cannot help them. But whatever you can. Unless the Titanic Order can help you. Oh, no, it's not a holy war. Well, meanwhile, they're winning. At least you're keeping them occupied. Oh, Holy Roman Revolt. That's what's keeping them so busy. Independence against Pierre Pegleg. Pegleg Pierre. Just like Pegleg Smith. That's from my other videos. Okay, we found a place to attack. Bring her with you. She's already married to another vet. There we go, that's the main army. Again with this. My troops are performing with excellence. My chest is swelling with pride as we keep pressing forward. My turn wagonettes are called the soldier nearby. And there's a sharp pain in my eye. Uh, gritting my teeth, I hear the enemy shouting, Stay down, you rough fanatic! Abdul Qadir, the commander of the Bedouin Company. So, Sunnis are there too, but they're just mercenaries. Give me him. I'll kill him. Zagoans and Potiosets. Again with this. Oh, why aren't you involved in fighting? Look at these guys are. That ain't good. Seeing that many losses. Okay, of the West Icelandic Band. Norse mercenaries are here too. My goodness. It is a world at war. Oh, we have to withdraw again. 
Heretics are at it again. And more are joining it. But I believe it's kind of too late now because we're finally seeing the conclusion of the hostilities. Yes, I see it's 100%, but I'd rather have them send me a message. Make it look like, you know, you're the one that's defeated, so therefore, you request a message to me. I ain't asking. You call me, I don't call you. Capture prisoners like nobody's business. You're the one that started. You send me that message or more men are gonna die. Does the marshal really need training? Unless you have an absolute good reason of why can't you? Let's keep at it. Let's kill some more. We're gonna go as long as we like. Okay, head up. Prominent subjects petitioned me for justice. His daughter supposedly been beaten by Marshall. With a Marshal? What the hell? My mother. While well, he was their guest up and the father's requesting compensation. Well, I'm a good man, most part. He will be in prison. And I am just. He deserves respect and justice, and we demand it. You are still around. That's surprising. Yeah, I saw that. Alright, when did it start? Just trying to look at the day. Five years and uh, one month. Okay, let's just drive these guys out. Just one more big battle and then... Then we'll do it. Because apparently that guy is not calling us surrender. It seems those people who... So do the jihad does not understand the concept of surrender. Unfortunately.
Let's say they're going to Castoria. Ah, uh, pretty boy, yeah. Uncle. A quick minded uncle who is a member of the Dominican Order. You want to join? I'll say no. Just, uh, we need your services. You have unparalleled combat skill. So, no, you're not going to, to that holy order. Okay, one more big battle it is then. It's gonna be all on you. You know what? Matter of fact, put me there. <laughs> one last shot of glory, shall we? Get the crust. Abdul Zaguin, who resisted bravely until he, according to reports, tripped on his own morning star. Killed by Vitacha. Huh. I thought he was malnourished. Good riddance. And killed a Norseman. Killed by Vitacha. Oh, wow. She killed two birds of one stone, or two stones of one bird killed them both on the same day wow <laughs> you're married over to the right woman here okay that's it that's the last great battle we're doing nothing can beat that so five years and five months <laughs> Europe Africa involved all that then more. There were some victories, there were some defeats. And look, compared to that what happened up north, um up north, I have to check for a moment. Um yeah, it was very bloody up in Scandinavia, in Switzerland in particular, but this one was just wow. This was probably the best episode involving warfare so far in this series. Okay. I'm done beating your armies up. And the rest of you. So now give me the money. And, um, and I get the victory. So there you have it. Um, the Jihad Falls. The greatest, it seems, does not favor the Shia Muslim people. After the string of setbacks and defeats, Clay Politeus II has called off the Jihad for Imperus against Emperor Vertigo II of Bosnia. Pathetic. Oh, that's over, that's over. <laughs> also, Finland calls for help. There's no invasion? They called off all of the invasion, unless the Teutonic Order just took out these guys that they were planning to invade. You saved Sumi. Oh yeah, I got one more bone to pick. You, come over here. Let's, uh, let's finish this episode right. You and me, one on one, right now. If you don't, then you're... Okay, you got guts. Hey, you turned Catholic. I guess the court chapel was successful in that after all. Oh, hell, until somebody invades. Okay. All right. I have 80 combat skill and, and such. I mean, I have a great experience. I'm a renowned duelist and I have strategic understanding. One thing to know strategy from the comfort of the war room. Having first hand experience, this one is another one entirely. This character has seen plans to unfold on the battlefield. Let's fight. 
because there's a reason why they call me Vertco the Second the Great. Let's fight, damn it. <laughs> yep, I'm swinging my weapon wildly when suddenly Yaro Wolfeg shrieks in pain. I'm dropping my marauder and I'm stuck staring at the miss I've made. I managed to slice off, slice half of his leg completely off. Yeah, not the man you used to be, huh? Fight with one leg. I'll walk away victorious. Remind me to kick your ass again next time. A lot of prisoners we've captured. Some of which probably... Um... I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> and the Empire broke itself apart. Yep, the Holy Roman Empire is not much of a, it's not going to be much of an empire any longer if this keeps up. Igor the Blessed is winning. And of course, um, at times, periodically, I'll be giving Finland some money. Because I don't know what's causing them with the monthly expenses. I levy upkeep. Alright, you're trying to get your boys back home. Because it already ended. So I hope you enjoyed this action heavy episode and we hope more action will come in the future until then so long for now